Aloha everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey what's up, my name is Casey. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark Mercari and I'm dabbling into eBay, so let's just say I'm an eBay seller, okay? And today I have a collective thrift haul for you. I really shouldn't be thrifting because I'm still trying to get through my death pile. I have gone from two, like, heaping ikea bags to being down to one ikea bag now and i went i ended up at the thrift store on multiple occasions because i just find a reason like if i'm in the area i'm like why don't i just stop by and then i end up buying stuff i know it's a bad habit but yeah i went to the thrift store and i bought some things I bought some things so some of these are from like other days <clears throat> and then two of these bags are from today if you guys are new here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join my little ohana that i have here i would love to have you guys back don't forget to click the little bell down there if you guys want to be notified when i do post and also hit the thumbs up if you guys enjoy haul videos like this i'm getting very tongue-tied i'm just like excited to get this all hauled so that I can start working on it. But yeah, let's just jump on into it, I guess. I hope you guys enjoy this one, and um, don't forget to leave your guys' comments down below. Let me know what was your favorite find, and let me know what kind of videos you guys like to watch, so I can try and do those for you. But yeah, let's go and get on into this haul. Alright you guys, so I'm actually like done filming my haul, but I'm going to pop in here real quick just to mention, um, if you guys do see anything in this haul video that you guys like, I have my email linked in the description box um, where you can just take a screenshot or something or give me a really good description of what item that you are interested in and then we can t work out like a fair price for you guys and then I can just send you an invoice that way if you guys are interested in this stuff because it will take me a while to actually get some of these things listed since I still do have a lot of things in my death pile so yeah email me send me a description send me a screenshot let me know what you want and we'll work out a price I'll give you a shipped price so it's like whatever I tell you if it's 20 bucks shipped that's including shipping I just wanted to throw that out there if you guys like anything let me know I will give you a great price just so that it saves me the time of having to like photograph and list it it'll help me a lot and you could get a great deal so yeah I hope I hear from you guys and let's get back into my intro or into my haul aloha Alright, so the first things I'm going to get into um, is from Goodwill. I didn't get much. I shop year-round just because I have family and friends back home in Hawaii where it's never like super ever cold. And then I have family in Guam where it's never cold. So I know that there are parts of the world that um, like they have different climates. Um, and yeah, so I never just shop like seasonally. I mean, I enjoy doing that, but I I buy whatever I like. I spent 1976. 1976. I only got like nine items, so this is good that I start with this bag. The first thing I got is Fabletics, and it is like a teal-ish sports bra. Hopefully, you guys can see this well. I'm kind of using like natural light for my window because it's so nice outside today um and then i realize now how do i know what size it is i don't know i want to say just looking at it it's probably like a small medium so i'll just me put measurements and you know we'll go from there then i got these shorts um, they're just american eagle outfitters you guys know but they were in the bins in the back so and they are the super stretch shorty and it's a size four so there's that they were in really good condition i always 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 check the crotch area inside and out because sometimes the outside will look just fine but when you flip it inside out there's like a crotch stain there and it's not pretty so inside and out i always check inside and out so there's that size four and here is another American Eagle Outfitters. I'm not going to show you guys the tag every single time. 
but these are a super stretch that's all it says it's super stretch and then it's a size two but yeah just a pair of american eagle outfitter shorts this is just american eagle stretch and it's a size six and i don't see a style name but they're like these Bermuda kind of shorts, so they're like longer, and some people appreciate that. So what did, what size did I say? That was a size 6. Here's another American Eagle. This one's a lighter wash. Has that distressing right there. Again, in very excellent condition. And this one is a size 4. Here's another American Eagle. They're these white denim shorts. And these are a size 4 as well. So, I could possibly actually lot these together. That might make it help it sell better. We'll see. But all the American Eagle shorts were like in excellent condition. And the, back, the bins in the back are so cheap. And then the last one is another American Eagle. This is the stretch. No style name. But it's another size 4. So, I have... Three size four. I don't know about this one, but these probably would lot well together. But we'll see. And then <clears throat> I got two pairs of shoes. This first one's I just thought they were interesting. Um, these are Earth Shoe, Earth Shoe Gel Ron 2000 Comfort First. I just thought that they were cool looking so they look like comfort shoes it says leather upper man-made sole uh, oh Astrid very good I can look that up and these are a size 8 there we go and then these I was excited because I haven't found vintage like a vintage Cole Haan pair of shoes in a very long time so these are just vintage Cole Haan made in Italy that's their green label these are a seven and a half B and they're just these brown, like, cognac leather, what would you call these? What would you call these? <laughs> um, but yeah, seven and a half. They're vintage, so there is some wear, but it's really not that bad. I've sold a pair um, of their, what are they, their penny loafers, like the vintage penny loafers. And um, I got decent money for, like, com considering how much I paid for them. I got a decent profit on those and I just always get excited to find the vintage Cole Haan because I feel like people like these styles, you know, um, but yeah, toe parts are really good. I just need to like condition it a little bit and I thought these were cute. So there is that. All right, next I have my pineapple Ross bag right here filled up and this is from my honey hole store. Um, a lot of these I got like a while ago and I just never got around to like going through them. So we're going to rediscover everything again. And I'm pretty sure there's some things in here that were for me. Okay, let's just start with the bag that was on top. They had a sale going on for their jeans where jeans were a dollar. These are just a uh, signature Levi Strauss. Um, what are these? The high rise slim crop. And they're just these blue um, cropped jeans, high rise. And it has like the raw fray hem. It has some distressing there on the knees. And I like them because they do have a good stretch to them. So I feel like somebody will appreciate that. Um, and also there's the back. Uh, they did put a lot of their jeans on sale uh, for a dollar and they usually charge three dollars for jeans that was like the only pair that day that I actually found and cared about so I picked those up and then um, I went one day and randomly found these and I know some people have mixed emotions about it but it was the first time I ever found this brand so I had to grab it it is Ferragamo, um, Salvatore Ferragamo, made in Italy. These are a size 8.5A, so I want to say that's pretty um, narrow, but they're these black, um, almost like suede leather 
kitten heels just needs a little cleaning up the bottoms are in pretty good condition if you look at the heels there's still a lot of life in them and their shoes usually go for like a dollar and up um, they've been marking their shoes up because I guess people have been going in there and buying them all up that was me in the beginning no shame so they marked these up probably not gonna see it right there two dollars two dollars yes I will so I grabbed those because it was my first time finding Ferragamo and I was just so excited and then let's get on into this bag right here so I spent $25 that day $25 and I got 12 items that's not including those two things okay um, this first thing this is for me <laughs> um, because I need these kind of things now that my belly is super huge this is just gap factory it is the legging and it is a size extra large yes it's huge but it fits over my belly and they are these black velvet leggings and I tried them on they're so cute they're so comfy they don't like it it doesn't feel tight around my belly for now so yes these were for me definitely folding I mean turning them inside out when I wash them and um, turn it inside out when you wash it and I'm, not, I'm probably not going to dry it. I just hang dry. Because most of my leggings, I'll wash it inside out. And then I'll hang it hang it out to dry. Um, they did have a bra bin. And usually all the bras are just crap in there. But I did find one um, Victoria's Secret bra. And it's like a hot pink with some bejeweling thingies on here. And let me see. These, this is a 32 triple D. Victoria's Secret. Y'all know what that looks like, but I'll show you. Victoria's Secret. So, yeah. And their bra bin was like 50 cents, I think. We have a... Ooh. I forgot. I folded this all up. Okay, they had a sale on their shorts. These are not very nice, but they were Trina Turk, and that was the first time I found it. Trina Turk, Los Angeles, size 8. Um... I'm probably going to regret buying these. So they're like these shorts, right? They kind of look like golfing shorts, but I know they're not. But they're just black. It's not the truest black. There might be a slight fading to it, but whatever. I never found that brand before, Trina Turk. So she was grabbed. This is another brand I never found before, but I picked it up. It is S. Max Mara. I know Max Mara is really expensive, um, but this is X Max Mara designed for living. It's an extra large, which it does not look like an extra large, but it is just like a navy uh, button down like polo shirt, and then it has like that stripes going down the middle. I might have to look it up. Maybe it's a kid's extra large, because this does not look like an extra large. So S Max Mara, extra large. And then, I've only found this brand once before, but it was leggings, Agnes and Dora. It's a size extra large, that's why I got it. But it's super cute. It's like a really boat, what is it, a boat neck or something. Um, it has like these cute stripes on there. I love the color detailing, and it's just a top. But it's nice and flowy, extra large, Agnes and Dora. I know some of their things can be up there, so I went ahead and grabbed that. These two are actually for me, or they were for me. I'm debating on if I want to keep them. Because now that it's starting to get cold, I'm not even going to be able to wear them. But they're just these maternity shorts. They're Isabel Maternity by Ingrid and Isabel. I'll show you. And it, these are, this is the Bermuda short. And let me tell you, like, it fit perfectly over my belly. So that's the back. It has like that. And it smells so clean. And then these are like the exact same things. But in black, there's the same tag. Isabel, 
um, maternity. These are the Bermuda. They're, so they're the exact same style, exact same size. They're just different colors. I took a chance on them because I know maternity clothes is really expensive. So I bought them and they fit perfect. And now it's starting to get cold. So I don't know if I want to hold on to them or like wear them around the house when the heater's on. Or if I should just lot them together and like sell it during the summertime or something. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, okay. This is Adriana Papel. Um, evening essentials. It's just 100% polyester. Made in Hong Kong, size 12. But they're just these really nice black trouser pants. I didn't know. Looks like really high rise. Like you can wear it higher up on your on your stomach, sorry, on your hips or whatever. But Adriana Papel. I took a chance on it. This one is uh, St. John Sport. Hopefully you can see that. It's a size 10, made in the USA. 98% cotton, 2% spandex. I never knew St. John had jeans, but St. John Sport jeans, and they look to be like a straight. But I got them because they were St. John. And I know it's St. John Sport, but I was like, whatever. <laughs> so there's that. It's not every day I find like some of these brands. So when I do, I kind of get it a little excited. And I just think about it like my cost of goods is so low compared to other people. So why not? And then somebody else can appreciate it, you know? Okay, we have three more things in this bag. Um, this one I never heard about before. I'll show you the back. The Big Star. I know some of you are like what you never heard of that no I have not big star this is the Sophie but I just like like I, when I saw this patch I was like "Ooh, that looks kind of like nice and apparently some of these are um like they go for good money these are the vintage collection oh, sorry I think my camera cut off but these are the Sophie and they just look like this and I liked how they kind of have that like bleaching effect in it it looks like it's a like a boot there's the back here's the pockets and they were in really good con condition there's the back of the leg um, there is some wear here but it's not like fraying or anything so the comps look decent I went ahead and grabbed it big star 27 long which is good because there's some tall ladies in there who want some jeans as well guys so there's that these I thought the style was kind of ugly they're Calvin Klein jeans these are a size 7 low rise flare and the color is sandblast so they're just like these light wash um, flare jeans and I got it because it has the big patch on the back, which everybody loves. But, yeah, I don't know. They're flare jeans, and they're low-rise, so that's not much going on for them. But I was thinking, since they were on sale, if this doesn't sell as is, I might DIY them. And, like, just try to do that for the first time, because I've never done that before. Um, so yeah, you know, like how you cut them and distress them like some cute shorts or something. I might DIY them. So we'll see how it does, but I think for now I'm going to list them as is. They're just some cute vintage Calvin Klein jeans. And then this was my first time finding Madewell. I've never found Madewell in the wild. Never, ever, ever Madewell. Um, these are the nine... 9 inch high riser skinny skinny size 31 there's the back that's where they clipped it but um they're just these like faded black high rise skinnies and then the only flaw that I noticed after I already bought them oh it was right here hopefully it'll still sell gosh but this belt loop ripped so there's kind of a hole like where the belt loop would have been sewn you see I don't think it's a huge deal 
but we'll see. They're made well, so even if I price them reasonably, that was like the only flaw. There's no fraying on the hems or anything, so hopefully somebody will grab that anyway. Okay, so that was those two. Um, and now we have two more things to go through. These are the things that I got today. I literally just got home maybe like half an hour ago and I ate and then I was like, why not film? Okay, so first thing I got was... Alright you guys, I'm going to have to pause it right here and I just wanted to quickly apologize um, for the music that's going to start playing after this. Um, I didn't realize when I was recording that there was, uh, the music in the background was just a little bit too loud so I can hear it in the video. So in order to mask that so I don't get copyrighted, I'm going to try and cover it up with some other music. But yeah, I wanted to apologize for that and hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much. But um, yeah, let's get on into the video. Sorry again. This plant! And it was funny because I went to check out and um, I randomly asked the old man, like, are you selling that? And then he was like, I'm not sure. Let me just ask this lady real quick that I guess she was running the show. And um, he said that a lot of people asked her, like, will you sell this plant? And she did not want to sell it. But she told me, $5.99 and it's yours. I'm like, sold because I like these kind of plants. in great great dusty condition so I picked her up and there she is so I went there today and I spent 1680 they were able to take card and they did tax I did not get a receipt I don't think but it is okay so I got this plant and then I got this plant and it's just a sad little like fake plant but I liked the green like crackled pot that it came in and I believe this was $2.50 and now I'm seeing there's a little chip in it great we'll just hide that towards the back I'll put it against a wall or something but yeah I like the colors of it green is my favorite color there's that another little plant to put somewhere just to add a touch of greenery to my house um, this one is really random, but the guy was so nice when I was he was talking stories with me And he's like we had like this whole box of these come in and I kept like eight for myself And it was so good and it like it goes into your skin It doesn't just like sit on top of your skin and it is just Alba Botanica Hawaiian Hawaiian moisture cream soothing jasmine and vitamin E hypoallergenic Apply daily to face and neck after cleansing and toning. Wears well under makeup. Apply before bed for an overnight moisture treatment. 100% vegetarian ingredients. I've never tried anything from this brand, but there's no parabens. Um, Alba Botanica. So I picked that up. I want to say this was like three bucks. I know, but I'm, I'm actually really big into moisturizers and I'll spend up to like 15 20 bucks on a good moisturizer and he said it was really good he enjoyed it and if I don't enjoy it then I know my husband will because his skin gets really dry in the winter so he can use that okay so it's not a loss this was on the clearance <laughs> and it's just like this random little bowl and I grabbed it because it's Pyrex Pyrex so it's only one bowl they did not have like a whole set of it or anything um, I'm gonna see how much it goes for if not I'm gonna keep this because I actually really enjoy my Pyrex stuff like the little that I have whatever I use for baking and stuff but Pyrex I don't think I got that much from from here honestly I did get these maternity pants. They're size medium, so hopefully I can fit it. And I really like that they actually take all their clothes and like wash it. And like they had it and they had like a separate room and they were like, oh, if you want to come and look through this stuff, this is like the newly washed stuff that we're putting tags on and we're putting it out. And I'm like, wow, you guys wash your stuff. That's awesome. Uh, but this is just Liz Lang maternity 
for a target it is the jeggings and it's a size medium so hopefully i can fit it i need maternity pants and it was only like two bucks so if it doesn't fit then i'll just sell it so i can get some money back you know so there you go what did i spend okay so two four that's 450 so that's like 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I guess that's right because there was tax. So it's about 15 bucks for everything. Oh, and then there's one more thing. I'm probably not going to unwrap all of these, but I got it's a set of four. And I thought these were so nice. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to try and like sell them as a set. And if not, then I might keep it for myself. They're these little, they all look like this now, okay? So they're like a, like a blue, like a cup, I don't know. Is it ceramic? It's like a cup almost. But there's four of them. And they were by like the teapot stuff and, but I'm like, I don't know. Do you drink tea out of this? Or sake? <laughs> there is like a mark under there, but I'm not familiar. I'll try to zoom up on that yeah hopefully you guys can see that but they're all like exactly like this so I'm gonna have to look it up I just like the look of them and there was a whole set of four um, so yeah I grabbed them and it was like two dollars for all four so like 50 cents a piece and I just I thought they were super cute so I probably should have paid attention to how she wrapped this but yeah, so that's everything that I got from that little store. And I actually really like that one. Like, if I start getting into, like, hard goods and stuff, they have some really cute stuff, and it's, like, affordable. So, there's that. So, yeah, I spent, like, a little over $16 after tax, which I'm not mad because this plant was, like, almost $6. And then this one was, like, two fifty. And those are for moi. I went to my honey hole today and I spent $7.25. I do not know how many items I have on in here. So we're just going to go through it. This one I kind of bought for myself. Hopefully I can fit it. Um, it. It still has like a part of the paper tag on the back. And then all of these like things coming out of it. It's just Chico's. Chico's size one. But it's like these elastic like stretchy. Like wide leg pants and I don't know they just feel they feel really nice it's just Chico's I want to say it's brand new without tags but I'm gonna try it on if it doesn't fit me I'll let it go this is the North Face it's a women's size 6 just 100% cotton um, cropped pants there's the back this is the North Face and yeah I think these are another pair of crops. It's like a tan khaki or khaki color. These are um, Patagonia, Patagonia, women's size 10 crops. And then it has like the little slit in the back. It also has pockets in the back. And I'm pretty sure this is just cotton, 100% organic cotton. This, I don't know. I don't know. It's weekend, Max Mara made in Italy and they're just these brown are they brown yes they're like a dark chocolatey brown um, trouser pants I think I have to look it up but uh, I've heard of Max Mara it's made in Italy but I know this is weekend weekend Max Mara so that might be a little different but Max Mara whatever it's nice to have some diversity in my closet. These are for my son. They're just some little baby Wrangler jeans. A six slim. And I bought him a bunch of jeans last year that he still fits, but he doesn't have like a faded black pair like this and I think he'll appreciate that. And he loves when I get him kind of random stuff at the store. This is Moon Shadow. I've never heard of this. Moon Shadow, made in Canada. And it's like this green, is this like, it's like green and gray, I think. 
green and gray scarf and then I also like it also had like this little patch thing here Moon shadow so I'll have to look it up I just got it because it said made in Canada oh 50% wool and 50% acrylic I didn't even know it was wool so I guess that's nice we'll look that up they were still having their sale on shorts so I picked up two shorts. I see some people thrift the, this brand. Um, so I thought for 50 cents I'll try it out. It's Liverpool. Um, these are size 6. And they're like these light wash Bermuda like long kind of shorts. So that's kind of just to test out that brand. And it was 50 cents so I just grabbed it. And this I never really heard of. But it's MPG. MPG size large and then there are these like purple athletic shorts there's the logo and I've seen some listings on Poshmark so I don't know we'll try it out it's just as athletic shorts um, and then it also has like the zipper in the back and then I found this was by the skirts it's Athleta Athleta size extra large. They're just extra large um, athletic skirt. Yes, it's a skirt. But it's black, it's a nice basic, and it feels nice. So, and it's a good size. And then we got this one. I kind of took a gamble on it. It does not have a brand. It looks as if the brand might have been removed. But it is a size six. I can show you that much size 6 and it's a hundred percent leather it's just this like cute black leather like pencil skirt that you can use like you know that high-waisted pencil skirt kind of look and it's 100% leather and I like that it's not so stiff so yeah I thought that was a nice find and then the last thing that I found like I said, their shoes are like a dollar and up unless they mark it. Um, these were marked up just a little, but they're Cole Haan. They're just these black patent leather like ballet flat things. And they almost have like that, um, what is this, like the fold kind of thing. Almost like the, the tykes or something. But yeah, or like the Emma flats from Lucky Brands. Kind of like that style. Um, one side does need to be cleaned up on the inside and then I need to kind of like go over the leather just a bit but other than that they're in really great condition and these are a size five and a half so very tiny but maybe somebody with tiny feet will appreciate this but yeah you guys that is everything in my collective haul um, it might not seem like a lot but man it's a lot because I still have like a ton of stuff in my death pile that I need to go through but yeah I was excited that I went thrifting today because I got my plants I got my little house plants I got my chicken hoagie that I always crave from the gas station and I got my Dunkachino with decaf coffee but yeah you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video um, and if you did please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and join my little ohana that I have here I would love to have you back for future videos I definitely want to do like more haul videos more thrift with me's but yeah I'm really excited for a lot of the things that I found and now I definitely need to get to work and get them all listed so yeah I really hope you guys enjoy these types of videos let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite thing that I found and also what's your favorite thing to thrift because I just I what are your favorite brands I'm always trying to learn like new brands so maybe we can learn from each other but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling and i guess i shall see you guys in my next video aloha